to week 25. Last week, we read 25 Mistakes of Salespeople, and we also watched the TED Talk Loyalty Programs. Hmm, why bother? The part that resonated the most with me with the sales book was in the section that says, you make the mistake of not being obsessed. How many times are you selling something or your sales team is selling something and they're no longer invested in the product or the service? And so they're just kind of going through the motions. And the next thing you know, their sales numbers dip because they are not obsessed. When you are obsessed with something, you are all in to win, no matter what is going on. Now, how do you ensure that you're obsessed and that you make sure that no matter what takes place, you're going to move your sales forward? He recommends every month you add something to your sales pitch. You add a new tool to your sales kit. Stop doing the same thing for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. You gotta add a new tool to that sales kit so that you can continue to be engaged, you can continue to be obsessed, and you can continue to transmute and make sure that you always close the deal. <laughs> what about the TED Talk? The TED Talk was about loyalty programs. And in fact, it said that most people, when they're buying something, they don't even think, wow, I'm so loyal to this brand. I'm so loyal to this grocery store. They think, I like this grocery store. I like this brand of shoes. I like this. I have an affinity towards it. It resonates with me. So I'm going to keep on purchasing from this particular retail outlet or this particular brand. What does that mean for you? That means that as a business owner, you have to appeal to the customer's wants and needs. Loyalty doesn't mean that they're going to just stay for your brand forever. It means that you have something that they're attracted to, something that they want. So yes, you need to bother with loyalty programs, but it's just going to get your foot in the door. The way to continue to make sure that your customers stay loyal to your brand is to find out what they need as an individual customer and cater to their individual needs. One thing that popped out was people opt out of your email list and they opt out of being a part of your sales funnel when it no longer applies to them. So keep it going, keep them obsessed, keep them wanting your products, and the next thing you know, you have created a very loyal global brand. What book do we have this week? We have Wake Up and Live. And the TED Talk is Have the Balls and Follow Your Dreams. Now, we're halfway through, and that's okay because you still have time to sign up today. That link below, that's for you. For the rest of us, we are just moving along. And thank you so much for joining me once again on this journey. I really appreciate you. And as I always say, when you can read it and you can see it, then you can believe it and you can achieve it. From here to the galaxy sphere. I'll catch you guys next week. Ciao.